Basilton, Dorschel, Dickide. Uh, Dorschel. Marina. Patrick. Vision, Dorschel. Dorschel. Dome. Dorschel or Van Bordel. Vision. Dorschel. Maybe different than other car dealerships? I don't I don't really know. Well, I should say I've heard of it, but I'm not, I can't elaborate what it exactly it is. I know it's a sales line, but uh, it's not something that really resonates with me. I have no sense of what it's supposed to mean. It implies that they're going to treat you a, a step above uh, possibly the competition. You know, the dor dorsal does make a difference. Internet. Blue Book. No, just the dealer sites. On the internet, obviously. Consumer reports and whatnot. I didn't want to go to a lot of dealerships. I wanted to go in and be done with it. Honestly, the most I've visited in one time is twice. Four or five. Once we get to one, we just don't want to go any further than that. Three different dealers. Doors shall be in one of them. Certainly referrals are very important. People that have positive buying experiences at uh, dealerships. Friends, they might say, I got this car from there. They're good people, da 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 da, da. But a lot of my friends went to certain dealers and you know they spoke highly of them and some told me not to go to certain ones. Good experience, word of mouth type of thing, yes. Really important. The reason why I only went to one place. I used to do all the service of myself on vehicles, but I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. And I think it's going to be very important, but it seems like they're not as cost competitive as other places. The support that you get, uh, that they know you, that when you step up there you don't have to wait long. I think it's extremely important. That's a big difference because when I, uh, I went to Dorschel, I had a guy, older gentleman, but was the awesomest person. Like, he was awesome. He told me the day I bought my car, go home, take like two days to think about it. If you like it, come back and see me. If you don't, you know what, we'll pick out another car for you. And I came back and saw him and I bought a car from him. Uh, I really don't hate it. I just hate when salesmen don't, um, they look at women as though they don't know what they're talking about. The bait and switch, I think, is probably the biggest issue that I have. Deals that appear to be really good deals, but they aren't. <laughs> For me, part of my experience is being a single woman and walking into a dealership and not getting any attention because they don't feel that I'm serious. It depends on what attire I came there in, dictated how my service was going to be, and I didn't like that either. Um, <laughs> it's a yes, no, some. Uh, new car I do, probably more than used car. I'm a little, I try to be wary about them. It depends on, I guess, their age and their personality. No. <laughs> if you do your homework, you should be confident that you're getting a good deal. I'm thinking with, with the economy in today's times that I'll probably get a better deal. I mean, the vehicle I'm driving now is 0% interest. I think so because um, it seems like with the internet now, everybody can compare everything. The prices are all out there. I'm never confident. Um, there's always a question mark. That would be a wonderful thing. Well, as long as I can trust that it's a low price. I would. Yeah, it's a real good idea. Yeah, it does. I think there'll have to be like almost a social change though because it's like when you think car dealerships, you think you're going to go in and you're going to negotiate. Was that possible? Well, that would certainly streamline the process. I don't want to go to four or five guys. So yes, absolutely, that's very important. That is very appealing to me, and that was one thing that was surprising with me, is that when I went through the process, I did get handed off to a couple other people, and that was a little disconcerting. Clean and simple would be, this is the price, this is what I'm going to pay for it, everybody's happy with it. Just make your, want to make your prices clear cut and uh, 
don't have any hidden fees or anything in the price of the vehicle. I don't know if there's a such thing as clean and simple pricing. Um, it's very clear, easy to understand, and nothing, nothing's hidden. You know, if this is the car and these are the options, this should be the price. Be sure you understand that customers today are much more well informed and um, treat them as knowledgeable folks. Treat everyone as though that they can buy the finest car you got on the lot. Make sure that they know how the car works and all the features to it. Don't follow people around when they're looking at cars. <laughs> Hire honest people. That's really it.